Pam Hudson in the amount of $4,800 after she says her business was disrupted by a street protest he organized. Ms. Rose, what brings you to my courtroom today? Your Honor, this gentleman owes me $4,800 for a loss of business. I don't owe her a thing. Your Honor, he's been and, you know, shouted in my ears while flagging, you know, his permit and saying, read it and we read it and we to... Do not interrupt her. Yes, ma'am. This pet he shop says... gets her puppies and kittens from puppy mills, from puppy mongers. We were there to bring attention to this atrocity. Puppies. People for puppies is what it's called. Yes, ma'am. It's a time All when right, I make ma'am. most of my money. This Money is the first that goes time. to the government this and is the, the one first time. All right, Mr. Hudson, don't interrupt I'm complaining her. that this they are afraid to approach my business. When I'm upstairs with my clients, I can hear, hardly I'm hear myself. to one, they were there all day. All day. Were you using the sound device system beyond noon to one? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You were. Now, exactly. Only to get my people off the street. That's not true, Your Honor. He was out there shouting, blocking the entrance it was for a my protest. clients to come we in. We never blocked but the you, entrance. We you let block. Him. Look at that picture. Now tell me who would be crazy enough to try and you crazy, know, cross the crazy, picket crazy line. Crazy, crazy is the way you Look came down that. and shouted at Look us. at that. That's coming from the belly up. That's okay. right. He I want to get my there. point across. Okay. That the people with Gloria Allred. We all know that you can do your taxes yourself for $60. I believe that the clients that did not show up were just a polite way of telling her she charges too much. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right, court is ready to rule. In this instance, if you believed that the defendant was violating his police permit to use sound equipment, then what she should have done at the time was to contact the police Tell them that you believe the defendant was violating his permit. The police could then have made a determination as to whether or not he was exceeding the terms of the permit. Instead, all I have is your testimony that it was louder than permitted. You have presented no expert testimony at all to substantiate your claim. Your damages are not clearly proven to have been as a result of his loud noise. He did have a right to protest. He had to do it in a lawful manner. Yes, ma'am. And therefore, uh, I don't find that you have proven your case by preponderance of the evidence. There is a lawful right to protest in this country. We have to protect that right. As I did. find in favor of the defendant. Yes! All rise. Yes! Judge Allred has ruled in favor of the defendant. The I'm plaintiff. ecstatic about the judgment. This judge did the right thing so that we can move our cause forward.